vanity for a customer who's also my uncle he and his family is building a cabin like 50 meters from the shop on this side there will be a washing machine with a shelf on the top then a sink and just a simple shelf underneath so actually most of the work is done Still a bit of sanding left and then I'm going to stain it and install it in the cabin. So I've got some news for you. I've got some good news, bad news and then some good news again later. So good news number one. I finally finished the website. So if you go to rebaloni.com, I have linked the website in the description below and on the website you will find recent videos, more information about the projects, recommended tools and books, merchandise, woodworking plants and more. So go to arboloni.com and to celebrate the website I've made a free video training on how to get tighter joints. So I share five tips on how to get tighter more, more accurate joints and I also go in details on how to make a half lap joint. So if you go to my website and join my email list, you will get the free video training. And now for the bad news. My Instagram has been hacked. That's right, some guy or gal with way too much spare time has taken their time to hack my Instagram account. They have changed the name, so I have no idea what is going on there. I just hope that they haven't sent around some kind of virus or something. So, so if you ever got some messages, I apologize is not from me. That being said, I was about to delete my Instagram account anyways, because I'm trying to get more effective in my work. I have been reading a lot about the 80-20 principle. So if you don't know what that is, go look it up. There are plenty of videos on YouTube. But basically, the 80-20 principle suggests that 80% of the or about 80% of the results or outcome or output that we get comes from 20% of the work or input. So basically, all of the work that we do is not equally important. So I have been thinking about what are some things that I can remove from my workday to make more room for the tasks that are important and that are going to give me some better results. So Instagram was probably going to be deleted anyway to make more time for other projects. So now on to good news number two. This is also where I'm going to need your help. See, when I started getting more serious about woodworking about three years ago, I was really pumped and I wanted to know as much as possible in as short amount of time as possible. But really, it's really hard to find good content out there for new beginners. They use a lot of new words, difficult words that you don't know what means. And there's so much content out there that it's hard to filter out what is really important to know and what is not so important to know. That is why I've started working on a beginner's woodworking course. It's going to be a pretty big course, jammed full of all the most important things 
that you need to know when you're getting started woodworking. I don't claim to be an expert in woodworking, but I have been doing this for a while now and I've failed like a ton of times. So I know a bit about what works and what doesn't work. And I want to pass on some of the knowledge that I've learned so far. That being said, I want to hear from you guys. If you are a beginner woodworker, please comment down below two, three things that you want to hear more about. Maybe you've started reading about the topic, but it's hard to understand. Or maybe there is a part of woodworking that you're really interested in and want to learn more about. Please leave a comment down below. And if you are a more experienced woodworker, you don't have to be an expert, but you've been doing this for a little while, please comment the most important things that you have learned. What things did you wish you knew about when you started woodworking? What do you think is the most important things to know when getting started with woodworking? I really appreciate all of your help and it will help make this course a lot more precise and you'll get much more value for the money. So yes, it's probably gonna cost a bit of money because there's gonna be a lot of work. In the course, I'm also gonna include a couple of projects going through in details, some easy projects that you can do to get started, and I also include some plants. I think it's gonna be a nice product. I'm really passionate about doing this as good as possible and help you guys become better woodworkers. So that is it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave a like and of course a comment. And if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to hit the subscribe button as well. Thank you for watching, take care, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.